The First Book of Esdras, Chapter 1 And Josias held the feast of the Passover in Jerusalem unto his master, and offered the Passover the fourteenth day of the first month. Having set the priests according to their daily courses, being arrayed in long garments in the temple of the Most High. And he spake unto the Levites, the holy ministers of Israel, that they should hollow themselves unto the Most High, to set the holy ark of the Most High in the house that King Solomon, the son of David, had built. And said, Ye shall no more bear the ark upon your shoulders. Now therefore serve the Most High your power, and minister unto his people Israel, and prepare you after your families and kindreds, according as David the king of Israel prescribed, and according to the magnificence of Solomon his son. And standing in the temple, according to the several dignity of the families of you the Levites, who minister in the presence of your brethren, the children of Israel. Offer the Passover in order and make ready the sacrifices for your brethren and keep the Passover according to the commandment of the Most High, which was given unto Moses. And unto the people that was found there, Josias gave 30,000 lambs and kids and 3,000 calves. These things were given of the king's allowance according as he promised to the people, to the priests, and to the Levites. And Helkias, Zacharias, and Saelus, the governors of the temple, gave to the priests for the Passover 2,600 sheep and 300 calves. And Jeconias, and Samias, and Nathaniel his brother, and Asabias and Okiel and Joram, captains over thousands, gave to the Levites for the Passover five thousand sheep and seven hundred calves. And when these things were done, the priests and Levites, having the unleavened bread, stood in very comely order according to the kindreds, and according to the several dignities of the fathers before the people to offer to the Most High, as it is written in the book of Moses. And thus did they in the morning, and they roasted the Passover with fire as appertaineth. As for the sacrifices, they sought them in brass pots and pans with a good savor, and, sit, and set them before all the people, and afterward they prepared for themselves and for the priests their brethren, the sons of Aaron. For the priests offered the fat until night, and the Levites prepared for themselves and the priests their brethren, the sons of Aaron. The holy singers also, the son of Asaph, were in their order, according to the appointment of David, to wit, Asaph, Zacharias, and Jeduthun, who was of the king's retinue. Moreover, the porters were at every gate. It was not lawful for any to go from his ordinary service, for their brethren the Levites prepared for them. Thus were the, thus were the things that belonged to the sacrifices of the Most High accomplished in that day, that they might hold the Passover, and offer sacrifices upon the altar of the Most High, according to the commandment of King Josias. So the children of Israel which were present held the Passover at that time, and the Feast of Sweet Bread seven days. And such a Passover was not kept in Israel since the time of the prophet Samuel. Yea, all the kings of Israel held not such a Passover as Josias, and the priests, and the Levites, and the Jews held with all Israel that were found dwelling in Jerusalem. In the eighteenth year of the reign of Josias was this Passover kept. And the works of Josias were upright before his master with an heart full of godliness. As for the things that came to pass in his time, 
They were written in former times concerning those that sinned and did wickedly against the Most High above all people and kingdoms, and how they grieved him exceedingly, so that the words of the Most High rose up against Israel. Now after all these acts of Josias, it came to pass that Pharaoh the king of Egypt came to raise war at Carchemish upon Euphrates. And Josias went out against him. But the king of Egypt said to him, saying, What have I to do with you, O king of Judea? I am not sent out from the Most High against thee, for my war is upon Euphrates. And now the Most High is with me, yea, the Most High is with me, hasting me forward. Depart from me, and be not against the Most High. Howbeit Josias did not turn back his chariot from him, but undertook to fight with him, not regarding the words of the prophet Jeremy, spoken by the mouth of the Most High, but joined battle with him in the plain of Megiddo, and the princes came against King Josias. Verse 30 Then said the king unto his servants, Carry me away out of the battle, for I am very weak. And immediately his servants took him away out of the battle. Then gat he up upon his second chariot, and being brought back to Jerusalem, died, and was buried in his father's sepulchre. And in all Jewry they mourned for Josias, yea, Jeremy the prophet lamented for Josias. And the chief men with the women made lamentation for him unto this day. And this was given out for an ordinance to be done continually in all the nation of Israel. These things are written in the book of the stories of the kings of Judah, and every one of the acts that Josias did, and his glory, and his understanding in the law of the Most High, and the things that he had done before, and the things now recited, are reported in the book of the kings of Israel and Judea. And the people took Joachaz the son of Josias and made him king instead of Josias his father, when he was twenty and three years old. And he reigned in Judea and in Jerusalem three months, and then the king of Egypt deposed him from reigning in Jerusalem. And he sat a tax upon the land of an hundred talents of silver and one talent of gold. The king of Egypt also made King Joachim his brother, king of Judea and Jerusalem. And he bound Joachim and the nobles, but Zerasis his brother he apprehended and brought him out of Egypt. Five and twenty years old was Joachim when he was made king in the land of Judea and and Jerusalem, and he did evil before the Most High. Wherefore against him Nebuchadnezzar the king of Babylon came up, and bound him with a chain of brass, and carried him unto Babylon. Nebuchadnezzar also took of the holy vessels of the Most High, and carried them away, and set them in his own temple at Babylon. But those things that are recorded of him and of his uncleanness and impiety, are written in the chronicles of the kings. And Joachim his son reigned in his stead. He was made king, being eighteen years old, and reigned but three months and ten days in Jerusalem, and did evil before the Most High. So after a year Nebuchadnezzar sent and caused him to be brought into Babylon, with the holy vessels of the Most High, and made Zedekiah king of Judea and Jerusalem when he was one and twenty years old, and he reigned eleven years. And he did evil also in the sight of the Most High, and cared not for the words that were spoken unto him by the prophet Jeremy from the mouth of the Most High. And after that King Nebuchadnezzar had made him to swear by the name of the Almighty, He forswore himself, and rebelled, and hardening his neck and his heart, he transgressed the laws of the Most High, Almighty Power of Israel. The governors also of the people and of the priests did many things against the laws, 
and past all the pollutions of all nations, and defiled the temple of the Most High, which was sanctified in Jerusalem. Nevertheless, the Most High of their fathers sent by his messengers to call them back, because he spared them and his tabernacle also. Verse 50 But they had his messengers in derision, and look, when the Most High spake unto them, they made a sport of his prophets. So far forth that he, being wroth with his people for their great ungodliness, commanded the kings of the Chaldees to come up against them, who slew their young men with the sword, yea, even within the compass of their holy temple, and spared neither young man nor maid, old man nor child, among them. For he delivered all into their hands. And they took all the holy vessels of the Most High, both great and small, with the vessels of the Ark of the Most High, and the king's treasures, and carried them away into Babylon. As for the house of the Most High, they burnt it, and brake down the walls of Jerusalem, and set fire upon her towers. And as for her glorious things, they never ceased till they had consumed and brought them all to naught. And the people that were not slain with the sword he carried unto Babylon, who became servants to him and his children till the Persians reigned, to fulfill the word of the Most High, spaken by the mouth of Jeremy. Until the land had enjoyed her Sabbaths, the whole time of her desolation shall she rest until the full term of seventy years. Chapter 2 In the first year of Cyrus, king of the Persians, that the word of the Most High might be accomplished, that he had promised by the mouth of Jeremy, the Most High raised up the spirit of Cyrus, the king of the Persians, and he made proclamation throughout all his kingdom and also by writing, saying, Thus saith Cyrus, king of the Persians, The Most High of Israel, the Most High Almighty, hath made me king of the whole world, and commanded me to build him a house at Jerusalem in Jewry. If therefore there be any of you that are of his people, let the Most High, even his power, be with him, and let him go up to Jerusalem that is in Judea, and build the house of the Most High, power of Israel. For he is the power that dwelleth in Jerusalem. Whosoever then dwell in the places about, let them help him, those I say that are his neighbors, with gold and with silver, with gifts, with horses, and with cattle, and other things which have been set forth by vow for the temple of the Most High at Jerusalem. Then the chief of the families of Judea and of the tribe of Benjamin stood up, the priests also and the Levites, and all they whose mind the Most High had moved to go up, and to build an house for the Most High at Jerusalem. And they that dwelt round about them and helped them in all things with silver and gold, with horses and cattle, and with very many free gifts of a great number whose minds were stirred up thereto. King Cyrus also brought forth the holy vessels which Nebuchadnezzar had carried away from Jerusalem, and had set up in his temple of idols. Now when Cyrus king of the Persians had brought them forth, he delivered them to Mithridates his treasurer, and by him they were delivered to Senabasar, the governor of Judea. And this was the number of them, a thousand golden cups and a thousand of silver, censers of silver twenty-nine, vials of gold thirty, and of silver two thousand four hundred and ten, and a thousand other vessels. So all the vessels of gold and of silver which were carried away were five thousand four hundred three score and nine. These were brought back by Senebasar together with them of the captivity from Babylon to Jerusalem. Verse 16 
But in the time of Artaxerxes, king of the Persians, Belimus and Mithridates and Tabilius and Rathumus and Baal Tethmus and Simelius the secretary, with others that were in commission with them, dwelling in Samaria and other places, wrote unto him against them that dwell in Judea and Jerusalem, these letters following. To King Artaxerxes our Lord, thy servants, Rathamus the story writer, and Semelius the scribe, and the rest of their council, and the judges that are in Seleucia and Phinis. Be it now known to the Lord the King that the Jews that are come up from you to us being come into Jerusalem that rebellious and wicked city do build the marketplaces and repair the walls of it and do lay the foundation of the temple. Now if this city and the walls thereof be made up again they will not only refuse to give tribute but also rebel against kings. And forasmuch as the things pertaining to the temple are now in hand, we think it meet not to neglect such a matter, but to speak unto our Lord the King to the intent that, if it be thy pleasure, it may be sought out in the books of thy fathers, and you shall find in the chronicles what is written concerning these things, and shall understand that that city was rebellious, troubling both kings and cities, and that the Jews were rebellious, and raised always wars therein, for the which cause even this city was made desolate. Wherefore now we do declare unto thee, O Lord the King, that if this city be built again, and the walls thereof set up anew, you shall from henceforth have no passage into Celesyria and Phinis. Then the king wrote back again to Rathamus, the story writer, to Baal, Baal Timus, to Semelius the scribe, and to the rest that were in commission, and dwellers in Samaria and Syria and Phinis, after this manner. I have read the epistle which ye have sent unto me. Therefore I commanded to make diligent search. And it hath been found that that city was from the beginning practicing against kings. And the men therein were given to rebellion and war. And that mighty kings and fierce were in Jerusalem who reigned and exacted tributes in Celesyria and Phinis. Now therefore I have commanded to hinder those men from building the city. And he to be taken that there be no more done in it and that those wicked workers proceed no further to the annoyance of kings. Then King Artaxerxes, his letters being read, Rathamus and Semelius the scribe, and the rest that were in commission with them, removing in haste toward Jerusalem with a troop of horsemen and a multitude of people in battle array, began to hinder the builders, and the building of the temple in Jerusalem ceased until the second year of the reign of Darius, king of the Persians. Chapter 3 Now when Darius reigned, he made a great feast unto all his subjects and unto all his household, and unto all the princes of Media and Persia, and to all the governors and captains and lieutenants that were under him from India unto Ethiopia, of an hundred twenty and seven provinces. And when they had eaten and drunken, and being satisfied, were gone home, then Darius the king went into his bedchamber and slept, and soon after awaked. Then three young men that were of the guard that kept the king's body spake one to another, Let every one of us speak a sentence. He that shall overcome, and whose sentence shall seem wiser than the others, unto him shall the king Darius give great gifts and great things in token of victory. As to be clothed in purple, to drink in gold, and to sleep upon gold, and a chariot with bridles of gold, and an head tire of fine linen, and a chain about his neck. 
and he shall sit next to Darius because of his wisdom, and shall be called Darius his cousin. And then every one wrote his sentence, sealed it, and laid it under King Darius his pillow, and said that when the king is risen, some will give him the writings, and of whose side the king and the three princes of Persia shall judge that his sentence is the wisest to him, shall the victory be given as was appointed. The first wrote, Wine is the strongest. The second wrote, the king is the strongest. The third wrote, Women are strongest, but above all things, truth beareth away the victory. Verse 13 Now when the king was risen up, they took their writings and delivered them unto him, and so he read them. And sending forth, he called all the princes of Persia and Media, and the governors, and the captains, and the lieutenants, and the chief officers, and sat him down in the royal seat of judgment. And the writings were read before them. And he said, Call the young men, and they shall declare their own sentences. So they were called, and came in. And he said unto them, Declare unto us your mind concerning these writings. Then began the first, who had spoken of the strength of wine. And he said thus, O ye men, how exceeding strong is wine! It causeth all men to err that drink it. It maketh the mind of the king and of the fatherless child to be all one, of the bondman and of the free man, of the poor man and of the rich. It turneth also every thought into jollity, and myrrh, so that a man remembereth neither sorrow nor debt. And it maketh every heart rich, so that a man remembereth neither king nor governor. And it maketh to speak all things by talents. And when they are in their cups, they forget their love both to friends and brethren, and a little after draw out swords. But when they are from the wine, they remember not what they have done. O ye men, is not wine the strongest that enforceth to do thus? And when he had so spoken, he held his peace. Chapter 4 Then the second that had spoken of the strength of the king began to say, O ye men, do not men excel in strength that bear rule over sea and land and all things in them? But yet the king is more mighty, for he is lord of all these things, and hath dominion over them. And whatsoever he commandeth them, they do. If he bid them make war the one against the other, they do it. If he send them out against the enemies, they go, and break down mountains, walls, and towers. They slay and are slain and transgress not the king's commandment. If they get the victory, they bring all to the king, as well the spoil as all things else. Likewise, for those that are no soldiers and have not to do with wars, but use husbandry, when they have reaped again that which they had sown, they bring it to the king and compel one another to pay tribute unto the king. And yet he is but one man. If he command to kill, they kill. If he command to spare, they spare. If he command to smite, they smite. If he command to make desolate, they make desolate. If he command to build, they build. If he command to cut down, they cut down. If he command to plant, they plant. So all his people and his armies obey him. Furthermore, he lieth down, he eateth and drinketh, and taketh his rest. And these keep watch round about him, neither may any one depart, and do his own business, neither disobey they him in anything. O ye men, how should not the king be mightiest, when in such sort he is obeyed? And he held his tongue. Then the third, who has spoken of women and of the truth, this was Zarobabel, began to speak. 
O ye men, it is not the great king, nor the multitude of men, neither is it wine that excelleth. Who is it then that ruleth them, or hath the lordship over them? Are they not women? Women have borne the king and all the people that bear rule by sea and land. Even of them came they, and they nourished them up that planted the vineyards from whence the wine cometh. These also make garments for men. These also bring glory unto men. And without women cannot men be. Yea, and if men have gathered together gold and silver, or any other goodly thing, do they not love a woman which is comely in favor and beauty? And letting all those things go, do they not gape, and even with open mouth fix their eyes fast on her? And have not all men more desire unto her than unto silver or gold or any good thing whatsoever? A man leaveth his own father that brought him up, and his own country, and cleaveth unto his wife. He sticketh not to spend his life with his wife, and remembereth neither father, nor mother, nor country. By this also ye must know that women have dominion over you. Do you not labor and toil and give and bring all to the woman? Yea, a man taketh his sword and goeth his way to rob and to steal, to sail upon the sea and upon rivers and looketh upon a lion, and goeth in the darkness. And when he hath stolen, spoiled, and robbed, he bringeth it to his love. Wherefore a man loveth his wife better than father or mother. Yea, many there, many there be that have run out of their wits for women, and become servants for their sakes. Many also have perished, have erred and sinned for women. And now do you not believe me? Is not the king great in his power? Do not all regions fear to touch him? Yet did I see him in Apame, the king's concubine, the daughter of the admirable Bartikus, sitting at the right hand of the king, and taking the crown from the king's head and setting it upon her own head, she also struck the king with her left hand. And yet for all this the king gaped and gazed upon her with open mouth. If she laughed upon him, he laughed also. But if she took any displeasure at him, the king was fain to flatter, that she might be reconciled to him again. O ye men, how can it be but women should be strong, seeing they do this? Then the king and the princes looked one upon another, so he began to speak of the truth. O ye men, are not women strong? Great is the earth, high is the heaven, swift is the sun in his course, for he compasseth the heavens round about and fetcheth his course again to his own place in one day. Is he not great that maketh these things? Therefore great is the truth, and stronger than all things. All the earth calleth upon the truth, and the heaven blesseth it. All works shake and tremble at it, and with it is no unrighteous thing. Wine is wicked, the king is wicked, women are wicked, and the children of men are wicked, and such are all their wicked works. And there is no truth in them, in their unrighteousness also they shall perish. As for the truth, it endureth and is always strong. It liveth and conquereth forevermore. With her there is no accepting of persons or rewards, but she doeth the things that are just, and refraineth from all unjust and wicked things. And all men do well like of her works. Neither in her judgment is any unrighteousness, and she is the strength of kingdom, power, and majesty of all ages, blessed be the most high of truth. And with that he held his peace, and all the people then shouted and said, Great is truth, and mighty above all things. Verse 42 Then said the king unto him, Ask what you will more than is appointed in the writing, and we will give it thee, 
because you are found wisest. And thou shalt sit next me, and shalt be called my cousin. Then said he unto the king, Remember thy vow, which thou hast vowed to build Jerusalem in the day when thou camest to thy kingdom, and to send away all the vessels that were taken away out of Jerusalem, which Cyrus set apart, when he vowed to destroy Babylon and to send them again thither. You also have vowed to build up the temple, which the Edomites burn with, burned when Judea was made desolate by the Chaldees. And now, O Lord the King, this is that which I require and which I desire of thee, and this is the princely liberality proceeding from thyself. I desire therefore that you make good the vow, the performance whereof with thine own mouth thou hast vowed to the King of Heaven. Then Darius the king stood up and kissed him and wrote letters for him unto all the treasurers and lieutenants and captains and governors, that they should safely convey on their way both him and all those that go up with him to build Jerusalem. He wrote letters also unto the lieutenants that were in Celesyria and Phinis, and unto them in Libanus, that they should bring cedar wood from Libanus unto Jerusalem, and that they should build the city with him. Moreover, he wrote for all the Jews that went out of his realm up into Jewry, concerning their freedom, that no officer, no ruler, no lieutenant, nor treasurer should forcibly enter into their doors and that all the country which they hold should be free without tribute, and that the Edomites should give over their villages of the Jews, which they, which they then held. Yea, that there should be yearly given twenty talents to the building of the temple until the time that it were built, and another ten talents yearly to maintain the burnt offerings upon the altar every day as they had a commandment to offer seventeen. And that all they that went from Babylon to build the city should have free liberty, as well they as their posterity, and all the priests that went away. He wrote also concerning the charges and the priest's vestments wherein they ministered. And likewise for the charges of the Levites to be given them until the day that the house were finished, and Jerusalem built it up. And he commanded to give to all that kept the city pensions and wages. He sent away also all the vessels from Babylon that Cyrus had set apart, and all that Cyrus had given in commandment, the same charged he also to be done and sent unto Jerusalem. Now when this young man was gone forth, he lifted up his face to heaven toward Jerusalem and praised the King of heaven and said, From thee cometh victory, from thee cometh wisdom, and thine is the glory, and I am thy servant. Blessed art thou who hast given me wisdom, for to thee I give thanks, O Most High of our fathers. Verse 61 And so he took the letters and went out and came unto Babylon and told it all his brethren. And they praised the Most High of their fathers, because he had given them freedom and liberty, to go up and to build Jerusalem and the temple which is called by his name. And they feasted with instruments of music and gladness seven days. Chapter 5 After this were the principal men of the families chosen according to their tribes, to go up with their wives and sons and daughters, with their men servants and maid servants and their cattle. And Darius sent with them a thousand horsemen till they had brought them back to Jerusalem safely, and with musical instruments, tabrets and flutes, and all their brethren played, and he made them go up together with them. And these are the names of the men which went up, according to their families among their tribes, 
after their several heads. The priests, the sons of Phineas, the sons of Aaron, Jesus, the son of Josedek, the son of Sarias, and Joachim, the son of Zerubbabel, the son of Salathiel of the house of David, and of the kindred of Pharis of the tribe of Judah, who spake wise sentences before Darius, the king of Persia, in the second year of his reign, in the month Nisan, which is the first month. And these are they of Jewry that came up from the captivity, where they dwelt as strangers, whom Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, had carried away unto Babylon. And they returned unto Jerusalem and to the other parts of Jewry, every man to his own city, who came with Zerubbabel, with Jesus, Nehemiah, and Zacharias, and Reesias, and Ananias, Marcodius, Belsaris, Asphorus, Relius, Rolimus, and Baana, their guides. The number of them of the nation and their governors, sons of Phoros, two thousand and hundred seventy and two. The sons of Safat, four hundred seventy and two. The sons of Ares, seven hundred fifty and six. The sons of Pahath Moab, two thousand eight hundred and twelve. The sons of Elam, a thousand two hundred fifty and four. The sons of Zadui, nine hundred forty and five the sons of Corby seven hundred and five the sons of Bonnie six hundred forty and eight the sons of Bibai six hundred twenty and three the sons of Sadas three thousand two hundred twenty and two the sons of Adonikam six hundred sixty and seven the sons of Bagoi, 2,060 and 6. The sons of Aden, 450 and 4. The sons of Atarizias, 90 and 2. The sons of Silian and Azadis, 3 score and 7. The sons of Azurun, 430 and 2. The sons of Ananias, an hundred and one. The sons of Aram, thirty-two. And the sons of Bassa, three hundred twenty and three. The sons of Asaphirith, an hundred and two. The sons of Metaris, three thousand and five. The sons of Bethlomon, an hundred twenty and three. They of Netophah, fifty and five. They of Anathoth, an hundred fifty and eight. They of Bethsamos, forty and two. They of Kuriatharius, twenty and five. They of Kafira and Beroth, seven hundred forty and three. They of Pira, seven hundred. They of Cadius and Amadiah, four hundred twenty and two. They of Sarama and Gavdes, six hundred twenty and one. They of Macalon, an hundred twenty and two. They of Betolius, fifty and two. The sons of Nephis, an hundred fifty and six. The sons of Kalamolalis and Onis, seven hundred twenty and five. The sons of Jericus, two hundred forty and five. The sons of Anaas, three thousand three hundred and thirty. Verse twenty four. The priests, the sons of Jedu, the son of Jesus. Among the sons of Sanasib, nine hundred seventy and two. 
The sons of Merith, a thousand fifty and two. The sons of Phasaron, a thousand forty and seven. The sons of Carmi, a thousand and seventeen. The Levites, the son of Jesui, and Cadmiel, and Banoas, and Sudeus, seventy and four. The holy singers, the sons of Asaph, and hundred twenty and eight. The porters, the sons of Salum, the sons of Jital, the sons of Talmon, the sons of Dekobi, the sons of Teta, the sons of Samai, in all in hundred thirty and nine. The servants of the temple, the sons of Esau, the sons of Asipha, the sons of Taboath, the sons of Saris, the sons of Sud, the sons of Phalias, the sons of Labana, the sons of Graba, the sons of Akua, the sons of Utah, the sons of Setab, the sons of Agabah, the sons of Subai, the sons of Anan, the sons of Katua, the sons of Gadur, the sons of Eris, the sons of Daasan, the sons of Noeba, the sons of Chesiba, the sons of Gezera, the sons of Aziah, the sons of Phinis, the sons of Azara, the sons of Bastai, the sons of Asana, the sons of Miani, the sons of Nafisi, the sons of Akub, the sons of Asipha, the sons of Asur, the sons of Pharisim, the sons of Basaloth, the sons of Miada, the sons of Kutha, the sons of Cheria, the sons of Charchas, the sons of Aserer, the sons of Thamoe, the sons of Nasith, the sons of Atifa, the sons of the servants of Solomon, the sons of Azaphion, the sons of Farira, the sons of Jeli, the sons of Lozon, the sons of Isdael, the sons of Sapheth, the sons of Hegiah, the sons of Phakarith, the sons of Sabi, the sons of Serothi, the sons of Messias, the sons of Gar, the sons of Addis, the sons of Suba, the sons of Afera, the sons of Barodis, the sons of Sabat, the sons of Alam. Verse 35 All the ministers of the temple and the sons of the servants of Solomon were three hundred seventy and two. These came up from Thermelith and Thelarissos, Charathalar leading them, and Alar. Neither could they show their families nor their stock how they were of Israel. The sons of Ladan, the sons of Ban, the sons of Nicodan, six hundred fifty and two. And of the priests that usurped the office of the priesthood and were not found, the sons of Obdiah, the sons of Akaz, the sons of Addis, who married Awugia, one of the daughters of Berzelis, and was named after his name. And when the description of the kindred of these men was sought in the register and was not found, they were removed from executing the office of the priesthood. For unto them said Nehemiah and Atharias that they should not be partakers of the holy things, till there arose up an high priest clothed with doctrine and truth. So of Israel from them of twelve years old and upward, there were all in number forty thousand, beside men servants and women servants, two thousand three hundred and sixty. Their men servants and handmaids were seven thousand three hundred forty and seven.
the singing men and singing women, 245. 435 camels, 7,036 horses, 245 mules, 5,525 beasts used to the yoke, and certain of the chief of their families when they came to the temple of the Most High, that is in Jerusalem, vowed to set up the house again in his own place according to their ability, and to give into the holy treasury of the works a thousand pounds of gold, five thousand of silver, and an hundred priestly vestments. And so dwelt the priests and the Levites and the people in Jerusalem, and in the country the singers also and the porters, and all Israel in their villages. But when the seventh month was at hand, and when the children of Israel were every man in his own place, they came all together with one consent into the open place of the first gate, which is toward the east. Then stood up Jesus, the son of Josedek, and his brethren the priests, and Zerubbabel, the son of Salathiel, and his brethren, and made ready the altar of the Most High, power of Israel, to offer burnt sacrifices upon it, according as it is expressly commanded in the book of Moses, the man of the Most High. And there were gathered unto them out of the other nations of the land, and they erected the altar upon his own place, because all the nations of the land were at enmity with them, and oppressed them. And they offered sacrifices according to the time, and burnt offerings to the Most High both morning and evening. Verse 51 Also they held the Feast of Tabernacles as it is commanded in the law, and offered sacrifices daily, as was meat. And after that the continual oblations and the sacrifice of the Sabbaths, and of the new moons, and of all holy feasts. And all they that had made any vow to the Most High began to offer sacrifices to the Most High, from the first day of the seventh month, although the temple of the Most High was not yet built. And they gave unto the masons and carpenters money, meat and drink with cheerfulness. Unto them of Sidon also and Tyre they gave cars that they should bring cedar trees from Lebanus, which should be brought by floats to the ha haven of Joppe, according as it was commanded them by Cyrus king of the Persians. And in the second year and second month after his coming to the temple of the Most High at Jerusalem, began Zerubbabel, the son of Salathiel, and Jesus, the son of Josedek, and their brethren, and the priests, and the Levites, and all they that were come unto Jerusalem out of the captivity. And they laid the foundation of the house of the Most High in the first day of the second month, in the second year after they were come to Jewry and Jerusalem. And they appointed the Levites from twenty years old over the works of the Most High. Then stood up Jesus and his sons and brethren, and Camdmiel his brother, and the sons of Madiabun with the sons of Jodah, the sons of Eliadun with their sons and brethren. All Levites with one accord setters forward of the business, laboring to advance the works in the house of the Almighty. So the workmen built the temple of the Most High. And the priests stood arrayed in their vestments with musical instruments and trumpets. And the Levites, the son of Asaph, had cymbals, singing songs of thanksgiving and praising the Most High, according as David the king of Israel had ordained. And they sung with loud voices songs to praise of the Most High, because his mercy and glory is forever in all Israel. And all the people sounded trumpets and shouted with a loud voice, singing songs of thanksgiving unto the Most High for the rearing up of the house of the Almighty. Also of the priests and Levites and of the chief of their families, the ancients who had seen the former house came to the building of this with weeping and great crying. 
but with many trumpets and joy shouted with loud voice, insomuch that the trumpets might not be heard for the weeping of the people. Yet the multitude sounded marvelously, so that it was heard afar off. Wherefore, when the enemies of the tribe of Judah and Benjamin heard it, they came to know what that noise of trumpets should mean. And they perceived that they that were of the captivity did build the temple unto the Most High, God of Israel. So they went to Zerubbabel and Jesus and to the chief of the families and said unto them, We will build together with you. For likewise, as ye do obey your power and do sacrifice unto him from the days of Azbazareth, the king of the Assyrians who brought us hither. Then Zerubbabel and Jesus and the chief of the families of Israel said unto them, It is not for us and you to build together an house unto the Most High our God. We ourselves alone will build unto the Most High of Israel, according as Cyrus the king of the Persian hath commanded us. But the heathen of the land lying heavy upon the inhabitants of Judea and holding them straight hindered their building. And by their secret plots and popular persuasions and commotions, they hindered the finishing of the building all the time that King Cyrus lived. So they were hindered from building for the space of two years until the reign of Darius. Chapter 6 now in the second year of the reign of Darius, Agigius and Zacharias, the son of Addo, the prophets prophesied unto the Jews in Jewry and Jerusalem in the name of the Most High God of Israel, which was upon them. Then stood up Zerubbabel, the son of Salathiel, and Jesus, the son of Josedek, and began to build the house of the Most High at Jerusalem. The prophets of the Most High being with them and helping them, at the same time came unto them, Sisenus, the governor of Syria and Phinis, with Sathrabuzanes and his companions, and said unto them, By whose appointment do ye build this house and this roof and perform all the other things? And who are the workmen that perform these things? Nevertheless, the elders of the Jews obtained favor because the Most High had visited the captivity. And they were not hindered from building until such time as signification was given unto Darius concerning them and an answer received. The copy of the letters which Sisenus governor of Syria and Phinis, and Sathrabuzanes with their companions, rulers in Syria and Phinis, wrote and sent unto Darius. To King Darius, greeting. Let all things be known unto our Lord the King, that being come into the country of Judea, and entered into the city of Jerusalem, we found in the city of Jerusalem the ancients of the Jews that were of the captivity, building an house unto the Most High, great and new, of hewn and costly stones, and the timber already laid upon the walls. And those works are done with great speed, and the work goeth on prosperously in their hands. And with all glory and diligence is it made, then asked we these elders, saying, By whose commandment build ye this house, and lay the foundations of these works? Therefore to the intent that we might give knowledge unto thee by writing, we demanded of them who were the chief doers, and we required of them the names in writing of their principal men. So they gave us this answer, We are the servants of the Most High, which made heaven and earth. And as for this house, it was built many years ago by a king of Israel, great and strong, and was finished. But when our fathers provoked the Almighty unto wrath and sinned against him, God of Israel, which is in heaven, 
He gave them over into the power of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, of the Chaldees, who pulled down the house and burned it and carried away the people captives unto Babylon. But in the first year that King Cyrus reigned over the country of Babylon, Cyrus the king wrote to build up this house, and the holy vessels of gold and of silver that Nebuchadnezzar had carried away out of the house at Jerusalem and had set them in his own temple, those Cyrus the king brought forth again out of the temple at Babylon, and they were delivered to Zerubbabel and to Sanabasarus the ruler, with commandment that he should carry away the same vessels and put them in the temple at Jerusalem, and that the temple of the Most High should be built in his place. Verse 20. Then the same Sanabasarus, being come hither, laid the foundations of the house of the Most High at Jerusalem. And from that time to this being still a building, it is not yet fully ended. Now therefore, if it seem good unto the king, let search be made among the records of King Cyrus. And if it be found that the building of the house of the Most High at Jerusalem hath been done with the consent of King Cyrus, and if our Lord the King be so minded, let him signify unto us thereof. Then commanded King Darius to seek among the records at Babylon, and so at Ecbatana the palace, which is in the country of Media, there was found a roll wherein these things were recorded. In the first year of the reign of Cyrus, King Cyrus commanded that the house of the Most High at Jerusalem should be built again, where they do sacrifice with continual fire, whose height shall be sixty cubits and the breadth sixty cubits, with three rows of hewn stone and one row of new wood of that country, and the expenses thereof to be given out of the house of King Cyrus, and that the holy vessels of the house of the Most High, both of gold and silver that Nebuchadnezzar took out of the house at Jerusalem and brought to Babylon, should be restored to the house at Jerusalem and be set in the place where they were before. And also he commanded that Sisenis, the governor of Syria and Phinis, and Sathrabuzanes and their companions, and those which were appointed rulers in Syria and Phinis, should be careful not to meddle with the place, but suffer Zerubbabel, the servant of the Most High, and governor of Judea, and the elders of the Jews, to build the house of the Most High in that place. I have commanded also to have it built up whole again, and that they look diligently to help those that be of the captivity of the Jews, till the house of the Most High be finished. And out of the tribute of Seleucia and Phinis, a portion carefully to be given these men for the sacrifices of the Most High, that is, to Zerubbabel the governor, for bullocks and rams and lambs, and also corn, salt, wine, and oil, and that continually every year without further question, according as the priests that be in Jerusalem shall signify to be daily spent, that offerings may be made to the Most High Power for the King and for his children, and that they may pray for their lives. And he commanded that whosoever should transgress, yea, or make light of any thing afore spoken or written, out of his own house should a tree be taken, and he thereon be hanged, and all his goods seized for the king. The Most High, therefore, whose name is there called upon, utterly destroy every king and nation that stretcheth out his hand to hinder or in damage that house of the Most High in Jerusalem. I, Darius the king, have ordained that, according unto these things, it be done with diligence. Chapter 7 
Then Sisinus, the governor of Celesyria and Finis, and Sathrobuzanes with their companions, following the commandments of King Darius, did very carefully oversee the holy works, assisting the ancients of the Jews and governors of the temple. And so the holy work prospered when Agaius and Zacharias the prophets prophesied. And they finished these things by the commandment of the Most High, God of Israel, and with the consent of Cyrus, Darius, and Artaxerxes, kings of Persia. And thus were the holy house finished in the three and twentieth day of the month Adar, in the sixth year of Darius, king of the Persians. And the children of Israel, the priests, and the Levites, and others that were of the captivity, that were added unto them, did according to the things written in the book of Moses, and to the dedication of the temple of the Most High, they offered an hundred bullocks, two hundred rams, four hundred lambs, and twelve goats for the sin of all Israel, according to the number of the chief of the tribes of Israel. The priests also and the Levites stood arrayed in their vestments, according to their kindreds, in the services of the Most High, power of Israel, according to the book of Moses, and the porters at every gate. And the children of Israel that were of the captivity held the Passover the fourteenth day of the first month. After that the priests and the Levites were sanctified. They that were of the captivity were not all sanctified together, but the Levites were all sanctified together. And so they offered the Passover for all them of the captivity, and for their brethren, the priests, and for themselves. And the children of Israel that came out of the captivity did eat, even all they that had separated themselves from the abominations of the people of the land, and sought the Most High. And they kept the Feast of Unleavened Bread seven days, making merry before the Most High, for that he had turned the counsel of the king of Assyria toward them to strengthen their hands in the works of the Most High, God of Israel. Chapter 8 And after these things, when Artaxerxes the king of the Persians reigned, came Esdras the son of Sarias, the son of Ezarias, the son of Helkiah, the son of Salum, the son of Saduk, the son of Achitob, the son of Amarias, the son of Isaias, the son of Memoroth, the son of Zareias, the son of Savius, the son of Bolchis, the son of Abysum, the son of Phineas, the son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron, the chief priest. This Esdras went up from Babylon as a scribe, being very ready in the law of Moses that was given by the God of Israel. And the king did him honor, for he found grace in his sight in all his requests. There went up with him also certain of the children of Israel, of the priests, of the Levites, of the holy singers, porters and ministers of the temple unto Jerusalem. In the seventh year of the reign of Artaxerxes, in the fifth month, this was the king's seventh year. For they went from Babylon in the first day of the first month, and came to Jerusalem according to the prosperous journey which the Most High gave them. For Esdras had very great skill so that he omitted nothing of the law and commandments of the Most High, but taught all Israel the ordinances and judgments. Now the copy of the commission, which was written from Artaxerxes the king, and came to Esdras the priest and reader of the law of the Most High, is this that followeth. King Artaxerxes unto Esdras, the priest and reader of the law of the Most High, sendeth greeting. Having determined to deal graciously, I have given order that such of the nation of the Jews 
and of the priests and Levites, being within our realm, as are willing and desirous, should go with you unto Jerusalem. As many, therefore, as have a mind thereunto, let them depart with you, as it hath seemed good both to me and my seven friends, the counselors, that they may look unto the affairs of Judea and Jerusalem, agreeably to that which is in the law of the Most High, and carry the gifts unto the Most High of Israel to Jerusalem, which I and my friends have vowed, and all the gold and silver that in the country of Babylon can be found to the Most High in Jerusalem. With that also which is given of the people for the temple of the Most High their God at Jerusalem, and that silver and gold may be collected for bullocks, rams, and lambs, and things unto, thereunto appertaining, to the end that they may offer sacrifices unto the Most High upon the altar of the Most High their God, which is in Jerusalem. And whatsoever you and your brethren will do with the silver and gold, that do according to the will of thy God. Verse 17 and the holy vessels of the Most High, which are given thee for the use of the temple of your God, which is in Jerusalem, you shall set before the Most High in Jerusalem. And whatsoever thing else you shall remember for the use of the temple of your God, you shall give it out of the king's treasury. And I, King Artaxerxes, have also commanded the keepers of the treasures in Syria and Phinis, that whatsoever Esdras the priest and the reader of the law of the Most High Almighty shall send for, they should give it him with speed, to the sum of an hundred talents of silver, likewise also of wheat even to an hundred cores, and an hundred pieces of wine and other things in abundance. Let all things be performed after the law of the Most High diligently unto the Most High God that wrath come not upon the kingdom of the king and his sons. I command you also that you require no tax nor any other imposition of any of the priests or Levites or holy singers or porters or ministers of the temple or of any that have doings in this temple and that no man have authority to impose anything upon them. And thou, Esdras, according to the wisdom of the Most High, ordain judges and justices, that they may judge in all Syria and Phinis, all those that know the law of your God. And those that know it not, you shall teach. And whosoever shall transgress the law of the Most High, and of the king, shall be punished diligently, whether it be by death or other punishment, by penalty of money, or by imprisonment. Then said Ezra the scribe, Blessed be the only Almighty God of my fathers, who hath put these things into the heart of the king, to glorify his house that is in Jerusalem, and hath honored me in the sight of the king, and his counselors, and all his friends and nobles. Therefore was I encouraged by the help of the Most High my power, and gathered together men of Israel to go up with me. And these are the chief according to their families and several dignities that went up with me from Babylon in the reign of King Artaxerxes. Verse 29 Of the sons of Phinees, Gerson, of the sons of Ithamar, Gamiel, of the sons of David, Lettuce, the son of Sechanias, of the sons of Perez, Zacharias, and with him were counted a hundred and fifty men. Of the sons of Pahath, Moab, Elionias, the sons of Zerias, and with him two hundred men. Of the sons of Zethoi, Sechanias, the son of Gizelis, and with him three hundred men. Of the sons of Adin, Obeth the son of Jonathan, and with him two hundred and fifty men. 
of the sons of Elam, Josias son of Gotholias, and with him seventy men. Of the sons of Zephatias, Zariah son of Michael, and with him threescore and ten men. Of the sons of Joab, Abadias son of Jezelus, and with him two hundred and twelve men. Of the sons of Banid, Asalamoth, son of Josephias, and with him an hundred and threescore men. Of the sons of Babi, Zacharias, son of Bibai, and with him twenty and eight men. Of the sons of Astoth, Johannes, son of Akaton, and with him an hundred and ten men. Of the sons of Adonokam, the last, and these are the names of them, Eliphalet, Joel, and Samaias, and with them seventy men. Of the sons of Bago, Uthi, the son of Istalkuris, and with him seventy men. And these I gathered together to the river called Theris, where we pitched our tents three days, and then I surveyed them. But when I found there none of the priests and Levites, then sent I unto Eleazar, and Eduel, and Masman, and Alnathan, and Mamias, and Jerubis, and Nathan, and Uniton, Zacharias, and Masalaman, principal men, and learned. And I bade them that they should go unto Sadias the captain, who was in the place of the treasury, and commanded them that they should speak unto Dedeus and to his brethren, and to the treasurers in that place, to send us such men as might execute the priest's office in the house of the Most High. Verse 47 and by the mighty hand of the Most High, they brought unto us skillful men of the sons of Mali, the son of Levi, the son of Israel, Asababia, and his sons, and his brethren, who were eighteen, and Asabia, and Anuus, and Osias, his brother, the son of Kanunus, and their sons were twenty men. And of the servants of the temple whom David had ordained, and the principal men for the service of the Levites, to wit the servants of the temple, two hundred and twenty, the catalogue of whose names were showed. And there I vowed a fast unto the young men before our Most High, to desire of him a prosperous journey both for us and them that were with us, for our children and for the cattle. For I was ashamed to ask the king footmen and horsemen, and conduct for safeguard against our adversaries. For we had said unto the king that the power of the Most High, our God, should be with them that seek him, to support them in all ways. And again we besought the Most High as touching these things, and found him favorable unto us. Then I separated twelve of the chief of the priests, Esabrius, and Asanias, and ten men of their brethren with them. And I weighed them with, and I weighed them the gold and the silver and the holy vessels of the house of our God, which the king and his council and the princes and all Israel had given. And when I had weighed it, I delivered unto them six hundred and fifty talents of silver and silver vessels of an hundred talents and an hundred talents of gold, and twenty golden vessels, and twelve vessels of brass, even of fine brass, glittering like gold. And I said unto them, Both ye are holy unto the Most High, and the vessels are holy, and the gold and the silver is a vow unto the Most High, the God of our fathers. Watch ye, and keep them till ye deliver them to the chief of the priests and Levites, and to the principal men of the families of Israel in Jerusalem, and to the chambers of the house of our God. Verse 60 So the priests and the Levites, who had received the silver and the gold and the vessels, brought them unto Jerusalem, 
into the temple of the Most High. And from the rivers Theris were departed the twelfth day of the first month, and came to Jerusalem by the mighty hand of the Most High, which was with us. And from the beginning of our journey, the Most High delivered us from every enemy, and so we came to Jerusalem. And when we had been there three days, the gold and silver that was weighed was delivered in the house of the Most High on the fourth day unto Marmoth the priest, the son of Eri. And with him was Eleazar the son of Phinehas, and with them were Josabat the son of Jesu, and Moath the son of Saban, Levites. All was delivered them by number and weight, and all the weight of them was written up the same hour. Moreover, they that were come out of the captivity offered sacrifice unto the Most High, power of Israel, even twelve bullocks for all Israel, fourscore and sixteen rams, threescore and twelve lambs, goats for a peace offering, twelve, all of them a sacrifice to the Most High. And they delivered the king's commandments unto the king's stewards and to the governors of Celesyria and Phinehas. And they honored the people in the temple of the Almighty. Now when these things were done, the rulers came unto me and said, The nation of Israel, the princes, the priests, and Levites, have not put away from them the strange people of the land, nor the pollutions of the Gentiles, to wit, of the Canaanites, Hittites, Pharisites, Jebusites, and the Moabites, Egyptians, and Edomites. For both they and their sons have married with their daughters, and the holy seed is mixed with the strange people of the land. And from the beginning of this matter, the rulers and the great men have been partakers of this iniquity. Verse 71 And as soon as I heard these things, I rent my clothes and the holy garment, and pulled off the hair from off my head and beard, and sat me down sad and very heavy. So all they that were then moved at the word of the Most High power of Israel assembled unto me, whilst I mourned for the iniquity. But I sat still full of heaviness until the evening sacrifice. Then rising up from the fast with my clothes, and the holy garment rent, and bowing my knees, and stretching forth my hands unto the Most High, I said, O power, I am confounded and ashamed before thy face, for our sins are multiplied above our heads, and our ignorances have reached up unto heaven. For ever since the time of our fathers we have been and are in great sin, even unto this day. And for our sins and our fathers, we with our brethren and our kings and our priests were given up unto the kings of the earth, to the sword and to the captivity, and for a prey with shame unto this day. And now in some measure hath mercy been showed unto us from you, O Most High, that there should be left us a root and name in the place of your sanctuary and to discover unto us a light in the house of the Most High our God, and to give us food in the time of our servitude. Yea, when we were in bondage, we were not forsaken of our power, but he made us gracious before the kings of Persia, so that they gave us food. Yea, and honored the temple of our Most High, and raised up the desolate Sion, that they have given us a sure abiding in Jury and Jerusalem. And now, O Most High, what shall we say, having these things? For we have transgressed thy commandments, which you gave us by the hand of thy servants the prophets, saying, That the land which ye enter into to possess as an heritage is a land polluted with the pollutions of the strangers of the land, and they have filled it with their uncleanness. Therefore now shall you not join your daughters unto their sons, neither shall ye take their daughters unto your sons. Moreover, ye shall never seek to have peace with them, that ye may be strong, and eat the good things of the land, and that ye may leave the inheritance of the land unto your children forevermore. 
and all that is befallen is done unto us for our wicked works and great sins. For you, O Most High, did make our sins light, and did give unto us such a root. But we have turned back again to transgress thy law, and to mingle ourselves with the uncleanness of the nations of the land. Mightest not you be angry with us to destroy us, till you have left us neither root, seed, nor name? O Most High of Israel, you are true, for we are left a root this day. Behold, now are we before thee in our iniquities, for we cannot stand any longer by reason of these things before you. Verse 91 and as Esdras in his prayer made his confession weeping and lying flat upon the ground before the temple, there gathered unto him from Jerusalem a very great multitude of men and women and children, for there was great weeping among the multitude. Then Jeconias the son of Jeelus, one of the sons of Israel, called out and said, O Esdras, we have sinned against the Most High, Almighty, we have married strange women of the nations of the land, and now is all Israel aloft. Let us make an oath to the Most High that we will put away all our wives, which we have taken of the heathen with their children, like as you have decreed, and as many as do obey the law of the Most High. Arise and put in execution, for to thee doth this matter appertain, and we will be with you, do valiantly. So Esdras arose and took an oath of the chief of the priests and Levites of all Israel to do after these things, and so they swear. Chapter 9 Then Esdras, rising from the court of the temple, went to the chamber of Joanan, the son of Eliasib, and remained there, and did eat no meat nor drink water mourning for the great iniquities of the multitude. And there was a proclamation in all Jewry and Jerusalem to all them that were of the captivity, that they should be gathered together at Jerusalem, and that whosoever not met, met not there within two or three days, according as the elders that bear rule appointed, their cattle should be seized to the use of the temple, and himself cast out from them that were of the captivity. And in three days were all they of the tribe of Judah and Benjamin gathered together at Jerusalem, the twentieth day of the ninth month. And all the multitude sat trembling in the broad court of the temple because of the present foul weather. So Esdras rose up and said unto them, You have transgressed the law in marrying strange wives, thereby to increase the sins of Israel. And now by confessing, give glory unto the Most High, God of our fathers, and do his will, and separate yourselves from the heathen of the land and from the strange women. Then cried the whole multitude and said with a loud voice, Like as you have spoken, so will we do. But for as much as the people are many, and it is foul weather, so that we cannot stand without, and this is not a work of a day or two, seeing our sin in these things is spread far. Therefore let the rulers of the multitude stay, and let all them of our inhabitations that have strange wives come at the time appointed, and with them the rulers and judges of every place, till we turn away the wrath of the Most High from us for this matter. Then Jonathan the son of Azael and Ezekias the son of Theocanus accordingly took this matter upon them, and Mosalem and Levites and Sabathias helped them, and they that were of the captivity did according to all these things. And Esdras the priest chose unto him the principal men of their families all by name, and in the first day of the tenth month they sat together to examine the matter. Verse 17 So their cause that held strange wives was brought to an end in the first day of the first month. And of the priests that were come together and had strange wives there were found, 
of the sons of Jesus, the son of Josedek and his brethren, Mathelas and Eleazar and Jorabus and Joadanus. And they gave their hands to put away their wives and to offer rams to make reconcilement for their errors. And of the sons of Emer, Ananias and Zabdias and Ianus and Semias and Hierel and Azarias, and the sons of Phaeser, Elionis, Masias, Ismael, and Nathaniel, and Okidelis, and Tausis, and of the Levites, Josabad, and Simas, and Solius, who was called Salatus, and Pathis, and Judas, and Jonas, of the holy singers, Eleazarus, and Bacharus, of the porters, Salamus and Tolbanes, of them of Israel, the son of Phorus, Hermes, and Adias, and Melchius, and Maelus, and Eleazar, and Asibias, and Baanias, of the sons of Elah, Mathanius, Zacharias, and Hierialus, and Hierimoth, and Eadis, and of the sons of Zamoth, Eliadis, Elisimus, Othonias, Jeremoth, and Sabatus, and Sardius. Of the sons of Babiah, Johannes, and Ananias, and Josabad, and Amatheus. Of the sons of Manny, Olamus, Mamachus, Jeduus, Jasabus, Jasiel, and Hieromoth. And of the sons of Adi, Nathus, and Musaias, Lacunus, and Naedus, and Mathanias, and Sethsel, and Balnuus, and Manassias. And of the sons of Annas, Elionias, and Esseus, and Melchius, and Sabius, and Simon Cosimus. And the sons of Asim, Eltanaeus, and Matthias, and Baniah, and Eliphalet, and Manassas, and Samiah. And the sons of Maani, Jeremias, Mamdis, Omaris, Joel, Mabdai, and Peleus, and Anus, Carabasion, and Anasibus, and Mamnitemnius, Eliasis, Banis, Eliali, Samus, Selamias, Nathanias, and of the sons of Ozara, Sessus, Esril, Azalus, Samatus, Zambis, and Josephus, and of the sons of Ethma, Mazatias, Zabadias, Edis, Jewel, Benanias. All these had taken strange wives, and they put them away with their children. And the priests and Levites, and they that were of Israel, dwelt in Jerusalem and in the country, in the first day of the seventh month. So the children of Israel were in their habitations. And the whole multitude came together with one accord into the broad place of the holy porch toward the east. And they spake unto Esdras the priest and reader, that he would bring the law of Moses, that was given of the Most High, God of Israel. So Esdras the chief priest brought the law unto the whole multitude, from man to woman, and to all the priests, to hear the law in the first day of the seventh month. Verse 41 And he read in the broad court before the holy porch from morning to unto midday, before both men and women, and all the multitude gave heed unto the law. And Esdras the priest and reader of the law stood up upon a pulpit of wood which was made for that purpose. And there stood up by him Mattathias, Samus, Ananias, Azarias, Urias, Ezesias, Balasamus, upon the right hand. And upon his left hand stood Phaldeias, Misael, Melchias, 
Lothasubis, and Nabarias. Then took Esdras the book of the law before the multitude, for he sat honorably in the first place in the sight of them all. And when he opened the law, they stood all straight up. So Esdras blessed the Most High, the God of hosts, Almighty, and all the people answered, Amen. And lifting up their hands, they fell to the ground and worshipped the Most High. Also Jesus, Annas, Sarabias, Adonis, Jacobus, Sabbateus, Oatias, Maeanes, Calatus, Azarias, and Joazabdus, and Ananias, Biatus, the Levites, taught the law of the Most High, making them withal to understand it. Then spake Atharates unto Esdras, the chief priest and reader, and to the Levites that taught the multitude, even to all, saying, This day is holy unto the Most High, for they all wept when they heard the law. Go then, and eat the fat, and drink the sweet, and send part to them that have nothing. For this day is holy unto the Most High. And be not sorrowful, for the Most High will bring you to honor. So the Levites published all things to the people, saying, This day is holy to the Most High. Be not sorrowful. Then went they their way, every one to eat and drink and make merry, and to give part to them that had nothing, and to make great cheer, because they understood the words wherein they were instructed, and for which they had been assembled.